Jamaica has a population of about 2.8 million and a land area of 10,991 kilometers squared, together with some 9,600 kilometers squared of offshore banks and shores. The island is approximately 235 kilometers long from east to west and 85 kilometers wide from north to south. The island is mountainous. In the east, a string of peaks rises to 2,255 meters in the Blue Mountains. Over most of the remainder, an extensively dissected limestone plateau reaches a height of over 900 meters and displays a rugged car scenery, the most spectacular being the cockpit country. This plateau descends northwards abruptly to the coast in a series of steps controlled by east-west faults and by raised marine terraces. It then falls steeply offshore into the Cayman Trough, which at 7,200 meters is the deepest point in the Caribbean. The southerly slopes of the plateau are generally less steep and bounded by alluvial plains. South of the central part of the island, a shallow marine platform extends up to 30 kilometers offshore and represents, in effect, a submerged extension of the island. Jamaica lies on the northwest rim of the Caribbean plate, which has moved east-northeast by about 1,400 kilometers with respect to North America since the late Eocene period. The island is situated on the eastern end of the Nicaraguan rise, of which the island may be regarded as the emergent, uplifted easterly tip. It also shares many geological features with Cuba, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, and the other islands of the Greater Antilles. Jamaica is separated from the North American plate by the east-west trending, seismically active Cayman Trench. The island is principally a crustaceous volcano-plutonic arc of which 70% is now unconformably covered by calcareous Cenozoic sediments. The major crustaceous inlayers cover approximately 10% of the present-day land surface and display typical characteristics with blue schist metamorphism and serpentinized ultramafics. Calc, alkaline, igneous rocks, and volcanic plastic occur in the blue mountain in layers. Tertiary sedimentation was closely controlled by east-west and south-southeast trending fault block structures. During the mid eocene tectonically stable blocks were unconformably overlain by yellow limestones, while a conformable cover extended over the subsiding terrains of the Wagwater and Mount Pelier New Market Belts. Deposits of the White Limestone Group accumulated during Late Eocene, Early Miocene times. Extensive uplift and volcanic activity occurred at the northern end of the Blue Mountains block in the Miocene, during which time the limestone cover was removed from numerous tectonically stable localities of the island's interior. Sedimentation continued around the coastal margins producing the late Miocene sandstones and limestones of the present-day coastal group. The main uplift of the Blue Mountains occurred in the Pliocene continuing over the whole island during the Pleistocene with resultant southward tilting and downfalling of the southern coastal plains.